so nice. Pins and stand a chance. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we have Jungle throwing the brand new Phase 4 from Storm. Today we've got the battle of the phases. We've got the Phase 2, the Phase 3, the Phase 3, and of course the Phase 4. Jung doesn't have an original phase. The reason we chose these balls, it's pretty self-explanatory. They're a part of the same line and all have the same velocity core. The Phase 2 here is a solid, the Phase 3 is a hybrid, and the Phase 4 here is a pearl with the R2S cover stock that we've seen on a bunch of other balls. We got balls like the IQ Emerald, the High Roll Pearl, and even the Trend. So we're expecting to see a pretty nice progression, this ball being the earliest, this being somewhere in the middle, a little bit further down lane, and this one being the longest and cornering the hardest. Definitely expecting more of a hockey stick, a hard left turn shape with the Phase 4. We got two patterns today, the first one being a house shot, your typical house shot, 10 to 1. And on the next lane over, we have Mercury, burnt up after a night of league. It's a challenge pattern, a little bit of a lower ratio. And like I said, this is just after league. Bunch of different styles, bunch of different balls thrown. We got urethane, we got reactive, maybe a couple plastic in there. So hopefully this phase four really shines. A reminder to please click that join button down below. We already got some awesome members. We love connecting with our community. So if you want early access to all of our videos, bunch of perks, including coaching, make sure to join our membership base. That's it for me, probably sick of me talking. Let's send it out to the lanes with Jungle. Yeah. All right, Jungle's back. We got the phase four, the super popular core from the phase two, phase three. Now we got the pearl version, the phase four. Starting here on the house shot. Uh, let's throw the phase two first, then the phase three, and then the phase four. Let's go down the lineup. The phase one was a little too early for me. I never had one of those, so not sure what that did. But it wasn't too popular, I don't think. All right, phase two. Probably 19 here at the arrows. Break point eight-ish, 10. All right, a little bit too far left there to start. Let's bump a couple right, throw that again. Then we'll go to the phase three. That's the thing with house shots, right? They got lots of oil in the middle. So if you're too far left to begin the day, too far in the middle of the lane, you're gonna catch a little bit too much oil. Ball's gonna hook a little late. Just gotta bump a couple boards of the right here. Two with the feet, two with the eyes. All right, that looked way better. You can see just a two board adjustment really makes a huge difference on a house pattern. All right, let's go phase three, same shot. All these balls are laid out the same, so we're just comparing cover stops, basically. All right, same line, phase three. Should be a little longer, a little sharper than the phase two. Change direction a little bit further down lane, wrap the 10. So just coming a little bit late. Right now, it looks like the phase two would be the ball to use if I were to bowl for score. Phase four. this ball a couple times already, I know it's super sharp. Same line. Yeah, really similar to the phase three. Just a little bit sharper, I think. Not the greatest shot by me, but really similar to the phase three, especially on the house shot here, right? House shots are gonna make every ball look a little bit closer together. So that one more time. You can see with the gold swirls that you can really see it rev up and turn the corner. That ball is sharp. Definitely a little sharper than the phase three. Very similar bowling balls. All right, let's move a couple boards to the left where we came up a little light with the phase two. Might come back off the dry boards on the outside. Yeah, I missed my target. A hair to the left there. Finished really hard. Bone to nine. Probably not the ideal reaction to use on the fresh, but that's what we got. Let's go two more to the left. Ooh, this is a nice rack. 10 pin here. I did leave a 10 pin. 
Okay, that one was out the window. Let's erase that from the mind. Two left of the previous shot. Break point is also two to the left. Yeah, ball comes ripping back off the dry boards. Really good for late, later in the day. Lands are a little burned up. Need a ball that saves its energy. I'm gonna hook a little earlier, a little more than the Spectre. So one slot above the Spectre and the Wolverine, I'd say. Two more to the left. Slow the ball speed down a little. All right, getting a little oily for it. Really sharp though. Really close to the phase three as well. So if you have a phase three, it's getting a little worn out, and then you don't want to get the same ball again. Phase four. Let's move back two to the right, so the phase three. This should be a little rounder off the spot, so a little smoother. Hook a little earlier. Yeah, I think it's just a little rounder off the spot down lane. The missile target just a little bit to the left there, left a nine pin. So it still finishes really hard compared to like the phase two. Uh, we'll throw that right now and see the difference. Same line, phase two. The other balls are leaving nine pins because they're turning the corner really hard down lane. So phase two is probably what you want to start with on the fresh. So this should look really good from here. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. I would use that if I was bowling tournament right now. Picked up in the mid lane, nice continuous through the pins. Pins didn't stand a chance. Nothing like a brand new phase two. Still that same shot again. Such good ball reaction with this. Yeah, stole the pins around really nice on this. All right, so the phase four one more time, then we'll head over to the burn, which we both league on already. These are the conditions that these symmetric pearls, while like the phase four and the phase three sim hybrid, they're gonna look really good on stuff like that's been bowled on a bunch already. So we're gonna go off over there. One more shot with the phase four. Same one. This should kick really hard in the back end. All right, let's over to the burned up Mercury pattern after league tonight. All right, about halfway through the vid here with Jungle. Question time. We got the phase four here, so the fourth installment in the phase lineup. Uh, what do you think is the best line of balls? We got the phases, IQs are my favorite, uh, idols, my strong favorite as well. Lots of favorite balls. The widow line is really popular. What do you think is the best line of balls? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, we're over here on Mercury. It's been bowled on in league, four games, six people per pair. Uh, I don't know who was bowling on here. There's probably been a bit of urethane, a bit of reactive, people playing all over the place. I haven't bowled on this lane yet, so we're gonna find a line with Jungle here with the phase four. Taking a wild stab, 33 with the feet. We're going uh, 21 at the arrows, wild stab. That wasn't too bad actually, not a bad guess. Ball went a little long, just faced up a little late. So I'm just gonna stay there and slow my ball speed down a touch. So Mercury is 40 feet, so but some games bowl on it. A Little bit of carry down, a little bit of burn. Phase four should look really good. Okay, yeah, I think we found it, two shots. So I slowed my ball speed down there, but I missed a little bit to the right and the ball recovered. Slapped the 10 out really nice. So I think that's the spot. Pretty good stab in the dark. Okay, let's go phase three, same line. This ball will probably look really good too. Just a little earlier, a little rounder than the phase four. Yeah, really good. Ah, phase three, phase four, really similar. Don't need both. Do not need both. That phase core is so good. Put whatever you want around the outside of it. Just missed a touch to the right there. Wasn't that great of a shot. Made it back, carried. Definitely a little bit more recovery with the phase four. Definitely gives you that little extra kick down lane. But again, very similar to the phase three. Hey, phase two, same line. Yeah, that solid cover. Just starts up a little earlier. Much rounder, much smoother. So I left a 10 pin there. So that's your telltale sign that the ball is starting up a little bit too early, losing energy too quick. Leave those uh, ugly weak tens. That's when you know it's time to cover down. By that, I mean go a weaker cover. Same core, weaker cover. One more of the phase two. Let's see if we can get it, get it to work. Ah, threw that one a little bit slower. Faced up a little bit better. But as you can see, it's not going through the pins 
as good as the phase three and the phase four. All right, let's go back to the phase four. Let's go uh, three boards to the left. 33, 36 now. Gotta really slow the speed down. Need it to face up. Yeah, you see how the phase two just sort of started up? You don't really go through the pins that well, they have that continuation. Phase four gives you that. The phase two is burning up early. Man, this ball looks so good right now. So, you both pocket ends after league. Phase four. One more, nice and slow. Yeah, that ball's so good on the burn. Ball burn. When lanes have been bowled on a bunch. Get to the fronts nice and easy when the traffic is there. Still makes the corner down there. So nice. So nice. It's so nice, I want to throw it one more time. Yeah, ball's so good on this. So there's been 12 full games bowl in this one lane. A six player teams, four games, right? So it's a bowl, right? We're a little bit further left in the house shot. Ball's reacting much differently. It's much smoother than the house shot, right? Because a little bit of carry down, a little bit of burn up front. So this is where you want to be using the phase four. This kind of pattern, this kind of condition. Phase three, same line. That was a pretty good shot. Same as the phase four, but you can see the 10 went a little late. So the ball's just reading a little earlier, a little flatter into the pocket. Phase four definitely looking money here on this lane. Phase three is really close though. Jimu's not even paying attention to me. He's texting his girl. Woo! That's enough for the phase three. One more shot with the phase four. Back to the shot. So yeah, once the lanes have been bowled on a bunch, phase four is excellent. Just go through the pins so much better than the other two when there's traffic. All right, back to the shot. All right, Jungle's back from the lanes reviewing the brand new phase four. I was really excited about this ball because phase two, it's always in my bag. Everywhere I go, no matter what the pattern is, this quarter cover, it just seems to work on everything. Short, medium, long, doesn't matter. So same core in the phase four here, I was really excited for it. When we first start on the fresh house shot, something the phase two is gonna look really good on because it's gonna roll a little bit earlier, smoother. It's gonna really control the back end, control the drive boards to the right. Give me a lot of room for error. So I struck quite a bit with the phase two. Then I went to the phase three, which is a hybrid. So it just went a little bit further down lane and a little bit more corner than the phase two, and but still really controllable. Like a really good step down, phase two, phase three. Both of these balls are really popular. Sold a whole bunch here in the shop. So I know everyone likes this too. Then I threw the phase four, not expecting too much of a difference from the phase three, just cause they're both shiny, hybrid pearl, same core, same layout, everything like that. But it did go a little bit further down lane and was a little bit sharper. Definitely hooked a little bit more like a hockey stick shape where the phase three was a little bit smoother. And then obviously the phase two is super smooth uh, compared to that. If you already have a phase three, I don't know, it's hit or miss if you want to get a phase four or not. It could be too close. It could be okay. For me personally, I would just take a phase two and a phase four if I needed another Sin Pearl in my bag other than my Wolverine. Uh, just because I find these two are pretty close. Phase three, phase four, a little bit too sharp for me on the fresh house shot. I like a little bit more control and not such a violent back end. I really like to see nice, smooth, continuous shapes. And you know what, if I leave a few 10 pins, that's all right, I can spare those up. But when the ball hooks like crazy, you go through the face, get a four count, I don't like that too much. So. Definitely you're going to use these when the lane's a little bit dried up, quite a bit of traffic, or if I'm going to a house that has built-in friction, kind of maybe like something like wood, I would just use this right away on the fresh. So I went over next door to the Mercury pattern, which we bowled league on, 12 games of burn, and I wanted to see how it did against the phase three on a little bit of traffic on the lanes. I really like the phase four. I think I would prefer the phase four over the phase three, just because it does corner a little bit harder down lane. And I was able to kick out those sevens and tens where the phase three got a little bit lazy, where the phase two was just burning up at the arrows, had no chance at all. Phase four looked the best on a little bit burned up condition. So I think I would prefer the phase four over the phase three if I were just to pick one of these. It looks pretty good going down the lane. Dark purple, black, and a little bit of gold in it. It looks really nice. I would say the strength of these balls are pretty equal. It's in the same spot, same target, same release, same everything like that. And they all three hit the pocket, just have much different shapes. The phase two is gonna be much earlier, much smoother. And something you want to use on the fresh. And then right after that, phase three, Storm sets it up for you nice and simple. Phase two is rolling a little early, getting a little flat down lane, right into the phase three. 
and the red after that, you go right into the phase four. But in order to make all three uh, work with each other, I would probably take the phase three down to like three or four thousand. So we've got two thousand here, four thousand, and then polish. I think that would be a great one, two, three punch. In conclusion, the phase core is just a really good core. Does, I don't think it really matters what you put on the outside of it. I never threw a phase one, so I don't know what that did or how that was, but these three right here, amazing bowling balls. See them all the time. So many people have them. So many people love them. I don't think you can go wrong getting one of these. Thanks for watching the Jungle again. Don't forget my question. Let me know down in the comments. What is your favorite line of balls? We got the phase line here. A couple other popular lines. We got the Black Widow line, IQ line, Idol line. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks to all the people who became members of the JR Pro Shop team. And if you'd like to join for special perks and offers, hit that join button below. Thanks for watching everyone. Rapid fire coming up next. See you in our next vid.